breaking news. Organized Indigo worldwide has reacted on the allegations made by the Anambra State Governor Chukuma Soludo consigning Mazin Namdekanu's release. Yesterday, Chukuma Soludo says that his colleagues, the Igbo governors, do not want Mazin Namdekanu's freedom. As such, they are now attacking him of asking Nigerian government to release Mazin Namdekanu unconditionally. Now, Ghanese Indigo don't react. He said, now we know that our enemies are within, not even the federal government of Nigeria. As they asked the Igbo governors, they have ordered the Igbo governors to urge President Muhammad Buhari to release Mazin Namdekano, all conditionally as directed by the Court of Appeal, says Kano must not die in DSS custody. Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. May God Almighty bless us all. Amen. My people, this will not be FEMO. You see some things when go they happen like this. Then go send a Nigerian film. Now lie. Now waiting don't happen. Nine people don't use art as film. It's happening right and direct. The situation went by. Person Papa go the you know the stabbing home son. It's not making sense now. No matter what you are going to gain at the end of the day, you have just succeeded in belittling yourself before those people. That is just the scenario on ground. Yesterday, the Niger Twist News reports that the Anambra State Governor, you know, laments that there is no unity between them in the Southeast among the Igbo governors. He said most of them are now attacking him for asking the federal government of Nigeria to release Mazin Namdekano. This one now, uh, people, when they say they are, they, are, they are states, and now a troubled state too, because of the killings here and there. He said they, they, they do not want Mazin Namdekano's freedom. If that be the case, if you can attack someone who says, release Mazin Namdekano, so that means... You do not want his freedom. So today, Ghanese and Digbo are now saying, say, oh, so now so life be. Now we now know that our enemies are within. Not even the place when they put eye. Our enemies are just within us. As the Ghanese and Digbo worldwide has urged the Southeast governors to reach out to President Muhammad Buhari, not be those ones then they talk, oh. Over the health status of Nam De Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, they say they don't just want to believe any allegations in that matter. But what that what they are saying now is, urge uh, a, a press president, press they put pressure more on the uh, federal government of Nigeria, I beg your pardon, to release the IPOP leader. The Abyss Igbo Social Cultural Group made a call and claims that Kano was being poisoned in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS, with Organese Secretary General Okechiku Isia Guzoro, urging the federal government to allow the IPOB leader full access to his doctors. You see, Wa Guzoro told Daily Post that Organese Ndigbo and the Southeast governors will investigate the allegations so of the poisoning of Namdekano. The federal government should allow the family doctors to have access to Namdekano so that Ndigbo can quench the incitement of violence. They also react on the allegations made by the Anambra State Governor Chukuma Soludo consigning Mazin Namdekano's release on, uh, in the Southeast region. And they say that they do not want to believe this allegation, but if that is the truth, that means our enemy lives within. Our enemies lives within. 
Okay. And they also urged the Igbo governors that Mazenam the Kanu must be released and they should investigate Mazenam the Kanu's head status because they don't understand what they happen right now. Make anything not happen to Mazenam the Kanu. Okay. Record that there has been alarms, you know, consigning Nam the Kanu's health. The other day, the IPOP said Kanu health is really very bad. That the health is deteriorating so bad. To the extent that when he lies down, whatever he eats comes out from his mouth. You can imagine that kind of a thing. And the government of this country is still commonizing such a, a, a dangerous human, human, human. You understand? They said he, when he talks, that odor comes out from intestine. So they asked the Nigerian government to release Mazenam the Kano because it seems that he's being poisoned by the DSS, you know, operatives in the custody. They also said something like Nam the Kano is being uh, uh, drug abused. They are abusing him with drug and all that. So they do not want to know or hear that anything happens to their leader. And for that reason, Nnamdi Kanu should, you know, allow to go for him to take his proper, to, for him to take proper care of his health and all that. So my people, now don't hear the matter now. This government of the day seems really very stubborn on this matter because with all the threats, with all the plead and all that, they not just want to shake body, but it will be worse. If anything happens and uh, we are praying nothing happens to him, as he take work, as he take, take it nap and make it for like that, still work go, you know, to his house so that we will get peace in this country. But the Nigerian government have to do the need for. Kano must be released. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.